Today lecture, I am going to discuss what lookup transformation in Informatica Cloud IICS. So this is the video lecture 29 is there. So this is a small point about the lookup transformation. The lookup transformation is used to retrieve data based on a specific condition. So this is example. We can use lookup transformation to retrieve values from database table for codes used in the source data. So let's uh, see the example. So first you are going to create new mapping. Let's so uh, right, uh, select your mapping and click on this create. Now the next is here. Let's keep the name m underscore lookup underscore example. After that, let's uh, select here the source. Source going to select. And uh, this is going to use here the database hrcon and uh, going to use the table employees. So this is the table that I am going to use. And if I want to see the record then here you need to click on this preview data. So this is the record. And here you can see department ID. I will take the another table there department ID must be there. So the next is let's use the lookup transformation. Click this as scroll down then lookup and uh, here this is the lookup transformation and let's uh, see the properties incoming field you can see this all are incoming field and lookup object. So let's uh, select here lookup object hrcon and going to select the lookup object and here departments. So departments table that going to use. See the record inside them in the department. So it has uh, four columns there. So department ID present in uh, source uh, table and here lookup table department ID that also present. So with the help of this department ID we can make some condition. Now after that here if you want to see then here you can see uh, advanced part lookup SQL override source lookup source filter this all. Let's go on this lookup condition. Here you can see there is the naming conflict. So let's uh, resolve this. So here from source. Here let's uh, select prefix. So source I am going to include the under score. Now you can see the naming that there is no any problem with the naming. Now let's keep the condition. So here this is lookup field. Let's select department ID and equal operator. You can use any and incoming field. So here since E underscore that I added in the prefix. So only department ID, department ID are the same. So this is the same. This is incoming from uh, source so field and this here lookup field. After that return values this all that's so uh, from the lookup if I go on this advance you can see this all properties of lookup transformation so this I will discuss in a later video. Now the next is so lookup part that has turned after that let's drag and here going to select the target. So incoming field you can see this all are incoming field is there. So I don't want this all field I don't want it load into the target file. So for this one let's uh, do here let's click on this plus here let's click on this exclude and click on this configure. So department ID from departments I don't need dename that's fine and here this is uh, Oh, that's fine from source this I don't need employee ID that's fine 
higher date i don't need last time this is not required there so according to requirement you should select the where so this come from employees this is location and here manager id this also not right so this come from the departments so here you can see this fields that will load into the target okay now the next is let's uh, select the target so you can use here relational table or you can use here uh, file so let's uh, select the file and here click on this select button so select button then or uh, let's uh, click on this create new at uh, at runtime so giving here l lookup file underscore txt so this file that will generate let's click on this save so let's click on this ok and uh, target field you can see because selected all uh, file so that that's come below now the next is let's uh, click on this save button so when you click on this save button here you can see mapping is valid click on this run and now this is the simple example of looker transformation so let's uh, click on this my job and here this is uh, starting there and here with the help of this lookup transformation we can use to retrieve data from the specific lookup condition so condition that i specified there id department id of the source and department id of the lookup must be same so let's uh, refresh here you can see mapping successful 107 rows that's processed and after that here uh, let's uh, select the folder here you can see lookup file that's created text so text file is there here you can see employee id e first name e name e department id that's come from the source table and department name that's come from the lookup or table okay so here you can see this or data that's all loading so based on the certain condition here two tables that join with the help of lookup transformation so this is the small example of the lookup transformation in iics informatica cloud service okay so this is the video lecture is 29 and this is how the lookup transformation that work use the source use the lookup transformation give the specific condition then get the data so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you